hills. I think he told me to go around to the end and the bridge is out. And then we got to hike in. Yep, there it is. The bridge is toast. No parking. He said to park as close as I could, so let's figure out where I can park this thing. All right, I got the tools. We're going to walk across this bridge here. Oh, yeah, there's the river. So last winter with all the big storms, it took the bridge out. So they're still working on it. Sometimes you see some steelhead down there. That's real pretty, huh? That's the other way. All right, let's go up here. I feel like Hansel and Gretel. Maybe I should leave a little trail of breadcrumbs. All right, DC bolts. Hang on hot, but it's like pilot. Get out of that one. I didn't get a much uh, video, but uh, it's a bad thermocouple. And guess who doesn't have one on the truck right now? That guy. Ooh. Easy. That's from last year's rains at uh, over 100 inches up here. All right, YouTubes. It's Saturday morning. 6.48. I got a hat out on a job. I got a call, freezer and an ice maker down, and I'm curious. I just got my coffee there. I'm curious if, um, I think this is the ice maker I told the lady the thing's toast, and I gave her a quote for a new machine. You know, of course it made a little bit of ice here and there, even though it's the grid separated. I'm wondering if it's the same one. And, uh, If she's calling about it not making ice, it's going to be real interesting. Oh, look at that, the sunrise. Maybe I'll go get you guys a sunrise pick at the, at the, see how the surfs do. I think the surfs up a little bit. Maybe I'll get you guys a sunrise pick. But if I do, I'll put it on here. Look at this, this is funny. That's the one with the grid separation. It's actually still making ice. The neighbor is the one that's out today. We'll take a look at this little guy. All right, got the field piece probes. That'd be a good time to test the probes out on an ice maker call. This one's out, I just got the cover off. We are in a fault code, so that's good. We'll see, we'll see what code it's off on it. Looks like it's gonna need some cleaning up. So we're gonna do that and we'll get the probes hooked up and see how it how the field piece probes work on this ice maker. Turn her off, turn her back on, you'll get your code. One, two, so it's off on a code two. So it's off on a code number two. We'll check that out here in a second. I'm gonna, I got the water tube off in the curtain. We're gonna do a clean up on this thing before we get started. It's pretty scaled up. We'll see if we can bring the ice thickness probe around or not. It's pretty dirty. Usually they get this bad, you scrub on them and the party's over. All right, so I got it cleaned up a bit and uh, we're gonna start a batch of ice here. This machine here is from 2001. Another beater. All right, all right. I'm five minutes into my freeze cycle. Um, so it's over 50 degrees in here, but it's under 70. So my discharge should be between 195 and 270. We're at 251, so that's good. The suction should be between 30 and 60. We're at 44, so that's good. Here's my differential on my EVAP inlet and outlet. 
it's got to be less than seven degrees, right? So it's about three. So that's fine. Let's take this thing on a field trip. We're inside a brick building today. The metal roll-up door. There's the ice maker. Uh, the exit door is right there. We'll go outside and see if these things can stay connected to the old iPad. I don't know what Bluetooth this iPad has either. It's old. We can, if it drops out a bunch, we can switch over to my phones. Okay, so there's the door and the bricks. Um, and there's the readings. Let me get in the shade here. So it's still connected. Look at there's the V2. Shabba dabba do. Okay. Walking across the street here. All right, let's put it into perspective. I'm still connected. That's just with the old school iPad. Bring, 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 bring. There's our readings. You can see them changing. It's up there making ice. All right, let's continue this field trip on. We'll come around here. Now, I had mentioned in another video at a commercial building, uh, it wouldn't broadcast real good, but we'll see how it does here. So I'm still connected and I'm coming from there. I don't know how many feet that would be as far as feet wide go. All right, we got one that just dropped out, came back in. See that? So we're still connected. I mean, this is what you guys are looking for for refrigeration range. It works. The Testos won't do it. Okay, that one keeps dropping out, but it will, it comes back in. See that with the top suction probe? There it goes, came back in. Now the liquid line probe dropped out. It'll come back in too. That's probably about what I'm going to get with this iPad. I could try my iPhone 6 and see if the Bluetooth's better. So it's going to it's going to do that. That's pretty far away. We're still getting the readings. That could be a that might be a pain in the butt right there if it keeps dropping in and out cycling. So there it is right there, all hooked up, nice and pretty. Still working, we're, st we're, we're still right here. I mean, the established signal. And it might work further away, I'm not gonna go further than this right now. But what I'll do for fun for you guys watching the video is let's hook up the testos. And I'll hook them up to the same iPad and we'll see how far they'll broadcast from inside there. All right, there's the testos. There's the testos, you can tell I use them a bunch, they're all dirty. Um, they are hooked up. Uh, a lot of you guys like this app, and I know why, because the font's big. And that's the one thing Fieldpiece needs to do is get the font bigger. Alright, so we're reading these temperature probes and these pressure probes. Now let's see how far we get. We're going to go out the door. Same location up there. We're going to come outside here and see what happens. This is the first place I came to. We already lost one temperature probe. See, there's the wall and the door. We'll see if it comes back. We lost number 139. The other three are broadcasting. Oh, 139 came back in, but then I lost 993. Let's take a journey. Oh, yeah, the second place I stopped was right there. So let's come on over here, see how we do. And they're gone. Party is over. So that's my first stop. See where they'll come back in at. 
I'll take uh, steps to right here. They're just through that roll-up door in the bricks right there. Let's come closer. By the shed here, I should be out. They should come back in. Okay, I got one Testo probe, came back in, and the other three are out. Oh, two, I got two back in. Let's come up here. Just playing with the iPad. That's about it for that. Um, let me switch this down. Okay, let me move uh, the ladder. I dropped the first batch. See how our bridge thickness looks. These are on the full cubes. Not bad. All right, just went in the harvest. Let's check our pressure. Suction line is at 98. Suction line's at 178. Oops, excuse me. Seven, oh, uh, 80 to 115 is us, so we're within specs at 97.3. 135 to 90 and we're at 177.4 so that looks good on our harvest let's see how it comes around up here one thing I've never really looked at is the temperatures on the evap during harvest so it looks like we got 103 going in 50 coming out here's some ice from the second batch so it's have an eighth of an inch bridge. It's close enough. Looks all right. It's just getting started right here. You're gonna check your pressures five minutes. Five minutes in, you want to look at those. All right, that's gonna do it for that one. That one's pretty much just a dirty ice machine. Had to get the big old cleanup. Um, I do like those field piece probes. Um, the range is good on them. They work good. They're not rangy like an eye connect, but they're good. And I will get you refrigeration guys a video of those probes failing on range, just so you can make your mind up if it's if it's a product that you want to invest four hundred and sixty dollars in. I think it's a good product and it works great, but it does have limitations. Um, and I will get you. I'll show you where we'll we'll get them inside of a walk-in box where the condensing unit's far away and see how far we can get with them if i don't get a video out before the holidays merry christmas and a happy new year i appreciate everyone that subscribes and likes and you guys that comment you guys have saved my bacon so much you guys are better mechanics than i am and i mean that and i really appreciate all the input and feedback you guys have on the channel so have a great year out there uh, be good to each other. Good.